hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can use a parameterization in a link service in previous video we have seen about the parameterization of data set in this video we are going to cover in a link service how actually we can dynamically pass the value suppose my requirement is like i want to connect with the sql database whenever you have to connect with the sql database what are the things generally they ask they ask to select the subscription they will ask to select the server they will ask to select the db name username and the password once you will pass this all the value then only you will be able to connect with the particular server now suppose you have a multiple server you have a server 1 server 2 server 3 like that you have a multiple server or suppose you have a multiple db like in a server 1 you have a multiple db like db1 db2 db2 db3 and all like that you have a multiple dbs available now if you want to connect with the db1 what you what generally we do we create a link service for the db1 if you want to connect with the db2 we will again create a new link service if you want to connect with the db3 again we were creating a link service so instead of creating a multiple link service for the multiple db what actually we can do we can create a single link service and we can pass this all the value dynamically during the runtime so we will be having one link service and that we will use for the multiple db or the server suppose your username and the password this all also a different for the server so this all value also you can parameterize so that kind of the advantage we get in a parameter so, so let's do a practical so i'll open a data factory once you'll open a data factory how actually we can create a link service one way is like while creating a data set it will ask to create a link service the second way is go to the manage here you will see all your link service so click on the new we are going to create a new link service i want to connect with the sql database so i'll select that continue now here you can see first thing is to pass the name so this will be the static the second it is asking to select the subscription select the server select the db name select the username and the password if i select the username and the password and if i'll click on the test connection i should be able to connect with the particular server and the db and connection is successful now if I have to connect with another DB, this POC DB, then what I will do? Again, I will create another link service, uh, link service, and here I will pass the DB name the differently. Suppose you have a multiple DBs are available. So in that case, instead of creating a multiple link service, we can create a one link service, and this value we can pass a dynamically. So how actually we can pass a dynamically? In bottom, you can see we have a parameter go to the parameter here you can create a parameter let me give the parameter name as a db name i'll just give the db name and after that you have to go into the enter manually so in account selection method we have a two method from azure subscription second is the enter manually click on the enter manually after that the database name so click on the add dynamic contain and this is the db name which you have created right so click on that so this is how one this is how we can pass the dynamic value now click on the ok after that the username and the password and fully qualified domain name so how actually you have to pass you can see the example my server dot database dot windows dot net so you can write the same my server dot database dot windows dot net what is my server my server name is the poc server so i will replace my server with the whatever the server i have so what i have done this database name i have i am passing dynamically now if i'll click on the test connection you can see it is asking me to pass the value so if i'll pass the poc db click on the ok you can see I am able to connect. 
let me again click on the suppose I, uh, my db name is another db so as of now i have a 2 db poc db and the master so suppose i want to connect with the master so what i will give i will give the name as a master and if i will click on the ok i am able to connect so i, I am able to connect 2 db with the single link service itself with the help of the parameter now suppose your username and the password also are different for that also you want to create a, a link service so what you can do you can click on the parameter and here you can write a password usually the password will be different username usually it will be same now what we will do in the password section right click on the add dynamic content you can select the password click on ok now whenever you will run it will ask two things first is the db name so i'm i'll pass my db name as master and it will ask to pass the password and we can pass the password also so like this uh, we can parameterize our link service we can have one link service that we can use for the multiple server and multiple database i hope you got the idea